So here's one of our little lazy doggies. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video uh, comparing some antennas that I'd like to be portable with. Um, so I've got a J-Pole and a Brie and one of those roll-up Slim Jims. And I just had a quick QSO with a gentleman not so far away and uh, we can compare the antennas. Thank you. So I've got the three uh, antennas hanging from my washing line. So the top of the antenna, they're roughly the same height, only um, about, ten foot, about 10 foot off the ground. But uh, the Abri, the homemade compression foldable collapsible J-Pole, and the rolled up Slim Jim are all approximately 10 foot off the ground. Now I'm going to try and make a contact and see if I can get a comparison. Wish me luck. Mike 6 Delta Zulu Zulu calling CQ2 CQ2. Mike 6 Delta Zulu Zulu CQ2 CQ2. Mike 6 Delta Zulu Zulu CQ2 CQ2 Mike 6 Delta Zulu Zulu Good day, um, in QSY 475? It might be busy, but try 475, if not 450, G8, AOJ. Thank you. Is this frequency being used, please, G8 AOJ? No, G6 DZZ, G8 AOJ. Mike 6, Delta Zulu Zulu Returner. Uh, Colford, I think you said. I'm in Barclay, just across the river. Over. Okay, Darren. M6 DZZ, G8 AOJ. Yeah, we have worked before. Um, Oh, yeah. A week ago. <laughs> a week ago. Um, on the night. At 1302. Anyway, um, so I'll try to just reply to your CQ call. Somebody else came back. And, uh, name is George. Actually, don't remember. Ah, it's 11 Right, back to you then, Darren. Uh, G M60Z, that is G8A, okay? I think so, George, yes. Um, I've been on a fair bit lately uh, with the lockdown, playing with some antennas and, and things. I've just got um, three hanging from a washing line at the moment. Um, at the moment, I'm running a rolled up Slim Jim. Um, but I've also got waiting to connect a homemade J-Pole and, um, I don't know if you know them, uh, an, an Abri, which is it's about, oh, I think it's 42 inch tape measure, basically, and uh, they really sit on top of uh, a handheld, a handheld. Over. Yeah, I don't know that one, but, uh, yeah, J-Pole, I've heard of those. Slim Jim, I've made one of those. <laughs> long time ago, but uh, I decided to uh, commercially made one would last longer up on the chimney stack. <coughs> I'm only running 10 watts, probably less than that, um, to a 5 eighths over 5 eighths, which is quite a few years old now. It has been refurbished a couple of times. Yeah, when, I, when I'm testing antennas, um, certainly beams anyway, yeah, um, I tend to put them on a pole. Uh, in the front garden attached to my trailer so I could run a lead out of the front door to get to it and um, one way to check in the uh, uh, PSWI is to point it up in the sky so you don't get grand reflections but uh, it's a bit fiddly <laughs> very fiddly um, with the gear inside and the, the antenna outside so there we are 
Yeah, I'm working on my computer at the moment, doing a schematic and a printed circuit board of an amplifier I'm trying to make. And uh, that's in there, the room. So I thought I'd come and give you a call to uh, break up the, um, the concentration <coughs> a bit. <laughs> I get a very sore wrist with it dragging across the desk. I think my chair must be too low. M6. CZZ Barclay T8 AOJ Colford. Mike 6 Delta Zulu Zulu. Um, what I might do in a minute actually, if it was alright, I might just pop over to my handheld and just put it on 1 watt. And Because um, I'd imagine I'm fairly a uh, fairly good signal at the moment. I sort of wouldn't mind trying uh, less power, but I can't do it on this um, device I'm on at the moment. It's 10 watts is the minimum. If that was all right with you. Uh, you're, you're 10 over 9 anyway, so um, you can come back on your your handheld when you're ready, and uh, I'll see what the comparison is. It should be um, pretty good. Not quite like like the Barclay, but uh, getting on that way. M60 ZZ G8AOJ just for you. Yeah, I just um, wouldn't mind going on minimum power and uh, seeing if uh, these three antennas are getting out um, equally or not. So one's a homemade J-Pol. I did have, I have got a homemade J-Pol and it's been on chimney for about eight years now. And that's, uh, that gets out nicely, you know, it's a bit higher. Um, nicely. But for a homemade thing, you know. But I made, um, I made another one a couple of weeks ago, put a video on YouTube, and um, made it out of compression fittings instead of soldering one up, just so I could take it down and collapse it and put it in a bag. And that seems to work alright, I think. Over. Yes, okay. Are you on your handheld now? No, I'm just putting a... a um, no, ne probably next over. Over. Okay, the audio changed. I thought you'd uh, changed over the uh, the microphone. Um, whether you changed the microphone or talking a lot closer to it, I don't know. But yeah, the audio quality changed. Anyway, um, you come up on your handheld, and uh, I'll uh, give you a report. I say you're very strong at the moment. Uh, we're only what uh, ten miles apart. <coughs> that, and uh, I more or less looking down uh, the valley to you. Oh. Zulu, <coughs> Zulu returning. Um, can you hear me over? You're still five and eight, five and eight, uh, Darren. So uh, no problem. Very yeah. very slight noise on you, but otherwise two five. Yeah, lovely. I'm just on uh, one watt now. Yeah. Um, I'll um, so I'm at one one watt on. Which one am I on? I'm on the roll up slim gym at the moment. Um, I did make some of those as well, actually, but I can never get them quite as good as the one I purchased once. So I'm still using the one I purchased and throwing the others away, I think. Over. 
Yes, okay. Um, I'm trying to find my uh, handheld. I found the handheld and might be able to go through it. Um, I've got it now. I might uh, screw it in and uh, see if I can talk to you on my handheld with a both on. And um, it takes a little while to get it all sorted out. It's normally sitting on the shelf waiting for that time the grandchildren come out. <laughs> They like uh, walking around the forest talking to each other. The good thing about these both is that you can program them up onto the PMR channels, which I've done. So they, they work with the, um, uh, the, the PMR thing. The only problem is remembering how uh, to get the right frequency right. We're on 475, aren't we? There might be a bit of a howl. Ah, that's it, I'm on there. Right, uh, give me another transmission, Darren. Uh, it's, um, it's Darren, isn't it? Yeah, Darren, G8AOJ. G8AOJ, Mike 6, Delta Zulu Zulu. Um, so at the moment, hopefully you can hear me, I am on the homemade copper compression j pull over. It's the same height, but it's, uh, I don't think it's quite as good as my first one, actually, for getting out, but um, I'm on one lot on the homemade copper J-Pop. Uh, five and eight on the meter, strength eight on the meter, same as um, when you're on uh, the handheld. Uh... <coughs> Easy. Sorry, George. <laughs> Lovely, okay. Okay then. Uh, sorry, can you hear me over? You've gone down to six and a half. Okay, so I'm on the basically the Abri antenna, which is made to go on top of the handset. Um, I don't know if you've seen them there. Basically, I think inside there are two pieces of um, tape measure put together wrapped up inside some sh heat shrink um, I think it's 42 inches long but they can fold down to about 12 inches um, so you can leave them on top of your handset and then unfold them when you need it over yes ok well so you're six and a half on this area although you were eight on the previous one uh, there's not a lot of difference between six and a half and eight on my rig I can tell you exactly how much uh, he says uh, if I can find the right piece of paper. Um, a couple of DVs there, uh, but menu difference between the power. Um, Confirm. The, the, the tape measure isn't quite as good um, as the J pole, I think you said. Um, I just went out in the garden uh, with my bow fan and I could hear you on it but you were only just there, it was dropping in and out of the squelch as I moved around, so I could hear you on my handheld uh, in the front guard, Darren, G8A, uh, James. <coughs> Mike 6, Delta Zulu Zulu, uh, back on full power on the Baofang. Um, although I think that's only 3 watts, I did a did a little uh, test on on my Baofangs and the uh, UV5R was only pushing out 3 watts. I got about four of those, and they was all about three watts. I've got a triple power, which is supposed to be eight watts. I think that was pushing out about five watts. And I've got another one, I think it was, a, is it 9R? And that's supposed to be 15 or 16 watts, and that was only pushing out three watts. So that was a bit rubbish. <laughs> Over. Okay, thanks very much, George, for your QSO. Um, so this is the comparison of the three antennas that I've tried today. Basically the idea is what would best go with a handheld uh, transceiver. So the Slim Jim is quite portable but you would need to throw it over a branch or something. The J-Pole a bit heavier and you'd also need to hang it from a branch. 
but the Abri is very portable, lightweight, folds up into much smaller. Um, the signal wasn't as good, of course, but it's the portability of it, really. Anyway, I hope that helps. So thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.